So listen to this. Activision Blizzard sued over frat boy culture. Apparently, women considered that the female employees were subjected to constant, listen to this, constant sexual harassment. So it wasn't just one, it was constant. Unequal pay and retaliation towards the women that spoke out. Oh, not my progressive company, not my feminist corporation, no, not Blizzard. Oh no, but don't they make sure that the female representation is up to par and up to standards? Are they making sure that their female characters are treated with respect? How can they do something like this? So they treat the pixelated characters with respect, but the actual women who work in their companies, they're treating like trash? No, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Didn't they get that uh, guy fired, the voice of Kelthas? Didn't they fire him? I remember they fired him. Why? Well, because there was an accusation of him of doing improper conduct. So it doesn't matter whether the guy did it or not. The accusation was enough. So why aren't the leadership at Blizzard resigning? Oh, didn't their developers talk bad against Asmogold? Oh, they talk bad against Asmogold. Why? Because oh, he's a misogynist pig. He says sexist things. He appeals to the bro culture. Oh, he appeals to the bro culture. But the people in Blizzard are now being sued for the frat boy culture. They're harassing women constantly, it says here. Constantly. It's like, not my words. It's the word of the women. They were, look at this, subjected. They were like the subject of constant sexual harassment. Oh. Honestly, if gamers had the lick of sense, which unfortunately they don't, but if gamers had the lick of sense, they would be the invisible hand of the market that shames this corporation nonstop. Like, this is how gamers should be. On every single forum, every time, you should not be able to talk about Blizzard without shaming them in the next sentence. It's like, oh, Blizzard, oh, that company that's doing sexual, oh, no, I can't, I can't, I just can't. You know, like, it, it's kind of interesting. Uh, what about their diversity officers? Why aren't they getting fired? I mean, can you imagine the diversity officers were working at a company where constant sexual harassment was taking place. So they were hiring women to get them into this evil frat boy culture. That's what the uh, diversity officers were doing at Blizzard. Huh? Day in and day out. Let's get more women because uh, our uh, leadership, the leadership at the corporation is becoming a little bit needy. They, we need to satisfy the, their sexual harassment quota for the day, right? Why are they apologizing? No, oh, the gamers should demand. The diversity officers at Blizzard should be the first ones to go. They were complacent. The leadership should be the next one. They should apologize. They should be treated identical with no difference than they treated the voice of Keltas, right? They are the ones that said, oh, we as a corporation, we feel ourselves responsible for the community. Hold them responsible. They want this. They're asking you. They're begging you to hold them responsible as a corporation. Of course, they, they're the ones that came out. If they were just selling a product, this would have just been another lawsuit. Ah, it's a lawsuit. It happens. You know, like, we'll see. Let's wait for the jury to say how they feel about it. Let's wait for the judge to pass the sentence. But no, they want responsibility. Hold them responsible. They're asking you to. Why are you not pleasing these people? Come on. You know, they, they create video games for you. They're good people. Satisfy their needs. Give them what they want. Honestly, it's uh, very interesting. Yet another progressive, morally upstanding company behaving like the Catholic Church. Well, not really. I mean, the Catholic Church is a little bit, you know, Due to the age difference, it's more problematic, but it's still in the same area, right? And, and I see gamers, like, passing this opportunity up. Like, you shouldn't pass this opportunity up. No, 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 like, this, this should be something that people go on every forum, on every comment section, on every talking point. Like, every single time Blizzard is being brought up, they should... And by the way, I just want to say, I dislike Blizzard way before it was cool. Like when I was disliking Blizzard, people were disliking me because Blizzard was one of those companies that had 
a massive amount of goodwill, an unreasonable amount of goodwill. Like, literally every gamer had goodwill towards Blizzard. Like, remember when uh, SimCity required an online-only connection? Oh my god, gamers hated that. They, oh, they hated the company. Oh, evil EA. Evil EA, like making people online-only. Diablo 3 comes up with an online-only connection, just like StarCraft 2 came out. And people were smiling. Ah, oh, yeah, but it's Blizzard. Oh, it's Blizzard. Let's, let's not be mean to them. Remember when people were angry about uh, mobile games having, like, obscene microtransactions and, like, milking the player for every single dollar and gamers were angry? They were angry. But when World of Warcraft comes out and it asks you a full $60 price to buy the game... And then you have to pay fifteen dollars for a pa for for a monthly subscription, and you have to pay more if you want microtransaction because now they have a store open, and and you can buy gold indirectly. You you can buy a one month subscription, sell it to another person, and you get gold. You you can buy uh, free leveling up because Blizzard knows that leveling up is a chore, and people just want to get rid of it, right? Because that's that's how you make a good game, a game that people want to pay to skip content. Yeah, that's not milking money, right? You want to change your name, you need to pay money. You want to change server, you need to pay money. You want to change faction, you need to pay money. You want to change your race, you need to pay money. Ah, but people don't complain because it's Blizzard, you know, it's Blizzard, I mean, oh, it's, it's fine, you know, like, lawyers are bad people, why are lawyers bad people? Because they're milking the consumer of every single dollar possible, they're evil people, Blizzard, not so much, Blizzard is fine, you know, people have goodwill towards it, it's the only company that actually gets people to pay to see ads, did you notice that, like, is there any other corporation on planet Earth? That asks you money to see ads. Other companies, you know, you, you want to see some game trailers. You want to listen to the game developers talk about their game. It's free. Yeah, you can go at E3. You can see Ubisoft. You can see other companies talk about how woke they are and other shit. And then they also talk about their game sometimes. But Blizzard isn't there, you know. You know why Blizzard isn't at E3? Oh, because they're at BlizzCon. Now, if you want to live stream BlizzCon, if you want to watch it live, oh, you need to cough up $60. Cough it up. Pay Piggy. Give them money, you pay Piggy. Give them money so they can harass women. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Fascinating. I, I love it. I love it. And, and then, you know, they, instead of actually giving you good games, they ask you if you don't have phones. Uh, people say, oh, no, no, no. You, you don't get it, V. No, like the $60, you get the goodie bag. You get a goodie. Fuck the goodie bag. What if I don't want the goodie bag? Why can't I have an option to, to say fuck you to the goodie bag? I just want to see what games are coming out. Just show me the new expansion. Show me. Yeah, I, I, I am glad there is no more goodwill to this corporation. And by the way, I don't even think it's a company at this point. I mean, uh, well, it is a company. I don't think it's Blizzard the company at this point. I think about it, like, how, how many original people that worked at Blizzard still work there? Probably that's why they left. They didn't like the way Blizzard treats women. I, I'm pretty sure. You know, they, they were they were disgusted seeing the diversity officers just picking in more and more women, looking at the door as the women are coming in, and they were like, oh my god, oh, she's so young. Oh, that's so wrong. Oh, no. Please don't go upstairs where, where the leadership is. Please, please don't go up to the boss. And by the way, you know, I, I just, I, I hope it's going to be a time where people are literally ashamed to write Blizzard on their resume. That, that, that's how the gaming community should hold Blizzard. You notice that when it's a person doing it, everyone is with their pitchforks. Oh, it's the guy. It's, it's the voice for Kelthas. Oh, uh, Vic Mongoya. Oh my God, horrible per. When it's a corporation, people are like, meh. You know, it's a company. Meh. Don't they have leadership? Don't they have names? Why, why, why don't they get the same treatment like Vic Mongoya? Why don't they get the same treatment like uh, the guy who played Kelthas? Huh? Why not? Why? Why are corporations better than human beings? Huh? Why, what is it? It's like corporation is this ambiguous entity, like this, this formless thing. No, it's not. It's run by people. The people should get the criticism. Just my take, you know, my two cents. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you in the comment section. And by the way, I'm not saying harass, but 
or anything like that. No, I'm saying like scrutiny, like don't buy their product. Just just want to make sure that people understand what I'm talking about. Because I, I don't I don't want people to not understand, right? Like they, they should be forced to apologize in a nice way. You don't you don't have to harass them or anything, heaven forbid. No. I'm asking for people to be uh, very civil when asking for an apology. And, and just like they were very civil with Vic Mongoya and the the Kelthas and who is it, uh, Johnny Depp, yeah, and like all, all these people, you know, like they, they were being challenged in a, in a very civil way by the community and they were asked to apologize for, for the evil that they committed towards their fellow man, towards the fetish sex, especially. So, yeah, that's that's my take. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comments.